What's up, y'all? So, I'm coming through today to do a quick movie review. You already know what the deal is. If you hear noise, all of that stuff. One day, one day soon, I'll do a quick backdrop or a cute little backdrop so we can have a nice little atmosphere for when I do things such as these. Anyway, neither here nor there. The reason I'm doing this review right now, and it's like 1 a.m., is because I literally just got finished watching this movie. <sighs> let me tell y'all something. What? I, let me focus. Okay. I don't recall ever in my life ever watching a movie and being so much like, really, at the end, like, oh, for real? Like, where I had to rewind and say, maybe, maybe I missed something. And go back to the end to be like, no, I didn't miss anything. That's really what happened. That's really how it was. Okay. All right, the movie I just finished watching is called The Open House. It's a Netflix, I think it's an original. Netflix original movie. Um, it's rated R. It's a uh, suspense slash horror movie. I love those kind of movies. So I went ahead, I watched it. Now, excuse the shakiness. All right. So, Netflix rates this movie five stars. Um, right off top, I'm going to rate this movie one star simply because of how disgusted I am right now. <laughs> Overall, I wouldn't give it uh, one star, but I'm going to give it one star because of the way it ended. All right. So, just to let y'all know, it may be some spoiler alerts. I apologize if you really want to see this movie. I'm sorry. So I'll make sure I put in the title. Possible spoiler alerts. It might be. I'm trying not to give that much away. And I'm trying not to make this video that long. Alright. So the movie is about, you know, it's a family. Man, woman, child. Alright. So they're going about their life. The husband gets killed. Well, he passes away. Whatever. I already said it. The husband gets killed, so the mother and the son, they have to move. They can't afford to pay for where they're living. So they have to move. They move into the woods, into this other house. Um, so what they have to do is pretty much once a week, they have to leave the house in order to um, have an open house. People come in, look at the house, because the house is eventually going to get sold. So next, this is not their permanent residence. They're just going to be there for a while. It's just kind of... Uh, looking after the house and getting away for a little bit since, you know, the husband, the father passed away. So they're not supposed to be there like forever. So they're there. The son doesn't like it. You know, typical, you know, teenage stuff. He doesn't like it. But then after being there for a while, the son is like, something ain't right. Something is a little bit off. It's kind of weird. The mother is just like, you know, brushing it off. You know, the typical thing that happens in every single movie. At this point, I'm still okay with the movie. I mean, it's still entertaining. It's still keeping me watching. Not a big deal. So I'm watching it. I'm watching it. You know, weird little things are going on. That's fine. So I'm still watching, watching, watching. Of course, you know, there's that climax of the movie. And things start to pick up. And weird things are happening. The phone is ringing. They answer the phone. No one's on the other end. It's just like an echo. Uh, it's different loud sounds. You know, the typical stuff. I'm trying not to say too much. But you know how a typical horror movie goes. That's what happens. I talk a lot with my hands. Whatever. So, yeah. So things are happening. Things are happening. And it gets weirder and weirder and weirder. And then, at the end. And I'm sorry. Hey. Spoiler. Whatever you want to say. At the end. The son run through the house, and the mother's run through the house, and then the, you know, in any horror movie, the killer is going after them, and they, you know, trying to get them, and they're trying to get the killer, and they're trying to save themselves, and trying to make it through the movie, to survive through the end, whatever. So, the whole time, we never see who this killer is, we never see this weird person, all we see is feet, arms back little flash of shadow we never know who the killer is 
So we're watching, watching, watching. Everything's happening. They're all beat up because this person is strong. They're getting their ass beat. And they're calling each other, oh, blah, 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 oh, blah, 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 help, 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 whatever. So we're waiting. You're waiting, watching. This is what I'm doing. Waiting for the killer to be revealed. Like, who is the damn killer? And I'm like, well, maybe it's this person. Maybe it's this person. No, it's not this person, clearly. It's not that person, clearly. So the movie goes off. And this is why they get one star from me. The killer is never revealed. See, I didn't, I didn't, you know, give away too much. The killer is never revealed. Who the hell wants to watch a movie all the way through and the killer is never revealed? I, I can't believe you're going to have a part two of this. I don't think it's worth a part two. My opinion. I don't think it's worth a part two. And why would you not reveal the killer? At the end, they don't reveal the killer. All you see is a car. So I'm thinking we're about to see the killer. You see a car come up car turns goes down the road and then you see a sign for open house so like the car is going back to this open house to kill some more who the hell is the killer so i'm very disappointed that the killer wasn't revealed so i sat there watched the whole movie and it's not like i was like bored or anything like that but i like suspense movies i like horror movies i like you know different movies different genres but I sat there, and you know, you always want to see how it's going to end. And I sat there and I watched it. Who's the killer? Who is it? Who is it? So, I have absolutely positively no idea who the killer is. And I'm just distraught because I sat there and I watched this movie. Again, the movie is called The Open House. It's a Netflix original. Um... It just came out, like, recently. It just, well, appeared on Netflix recently. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you can check it out if you want. Like I said, Netflix give it, gives it five stars. I give it one simply because of the ending. If I don't include the ending, I'll probably give it three out of five. Simply because it's the typical scenario of a horror film or suspense movie. It wasn't anything that was just, like really different that stood out to me but it wasn't like bad and it wasn't like <sighs> you know it kept me like guessing so when I watch something and I'm like okay well maybe it's this person maybe it's this person maybe it's this person you know that keeps me you know a little entertained so it wasn't too bad but I'd still give it a three if I set aside the ending if I include that ending you only gonna get one star Soon because I'm just not going to give somebody a zero off of that. But I think it really sucks. Because we don't know who the killer is. And it didn't leave it to me. It didn't leave it as if there was going to be a part two. So. That's my movie review. I just really, really needed to do it while it was like fresh on my mind. And I literally just finished watching it. Um, If you want to see other movie re reviews, let me know. I mostly only do Netflix stuff. So, let me know what's on Netflix and I watch it. Um, I'm not big, big into science fiction. It depends on what it is, I might watch it. But I'm not really big into that. But I will watch other things. Nothing too hallmarky. I'm sorry, I just don't really. But if you really see something that, you know, you might want me to review, let me know. And I'll do it for reviews purposes. So, let me know. On that note, y'all. <sighs> be as ill as you can be and I'm gonna be out I am distraught now alright y'all I'm out peace